Well, a few thousand lucky fans are getting ready for this weekend's matchup in the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. The city has authorized a plan to allow 3,000 spectators in to watch the black and gold. Duke Carter previews how it's all going to be played out. If the positivity rate can remain the same as far as the virus, potentially more fans would be allowed inside the dome to watch the black and gold boys play. Now that is according to dome officials. St. Reps tells us though that the 3,000 fans who are going to be inside the dome for this upcoming Sunday game were based on how long they were actually a season ticket holder. Now if more people are allowed inside the dome for the upcoming future, here's how dome officials are expecting to keep you safe. Obviously once you park and are inside the facility, it's going to be mandatory that masks will be worn throughout the entire game only except if you are eating or having a drink. Season ticket holders will be seated in pods if they came as a group. However, they will be socially distanced from other fans at the game. All fans, however, will be seated on the lower level. However, some parts have been blocked off, so staff will know if you're not in the correct spot. Dome officials say they've been working on this plan since April and are confident fans will have a safe and fun experience. You're going to watch a game from a new vantage point. Everybody will be in a new seat in, in the lower bowl. Uh, and so you'll, you know, you'll come in and be directed to your seat, and you'll be socially distant. And the key is wear your mask. We have ASM attendants who will be at the bottom of each row. We've already done this for two games. So we know it works. And if you're drinking or eating, take your mask down and put it back on. And, and they have signs, just a little gentle reminder, to, and they'll point it right at you, like, Get that mask on. Dome officials are hoping that everything does go well because it could mean more fans, about 6,000 fans inside the Dome for future games. For now, though, reporting, Duke Carter, Eyewitness News.